Hello friends! As many of you know, the dream box from the original scrap box has totally transformed the studio and the way I organize my supplies. It's truly changed my life, and I don't mean that lightly. Believe it or not, I didn't actually buy any additional supplies or items to put into the dream box. I already had everything that you see here scattered throughout the studio, hidden in different drawers, who knows where. Now it's all in one place and has really created room for discovery, doing cool things, and crafting a life I love. It is so well thought out and completely customizable, and today I wanted to share a closer look and give you a thorough tour inside the drawers and compartments. It's completely changed the energy of the studio and has given me the creative boost I've needed to not only make stuff, but also to make stuff happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And there's even an opportunity for you to win a $1,500 gift card from the original scrap box so you can get closer to having one of your own. Of course, you can still also use the code Amy Tangerine for $100 off any furniture so you can have this amazingness in your home too. There's also another video linked below and in the corner that you'll want to like and comment on for an additional entry for your chance to win. So many of you have asked for this tour, so here it is in all its glory. We started organizing on this side because I knew that there were certain things that I wanted to put in place, such as this Nouveau case, this rack that actually came from Nouveau. It's, I think, a display unit for a store or a shop. And uh, it fit perfectly here because I just didn't put these little tabs in so that there are no dividers. And I love that it's customizable for any big piece, smaller shelves, narrow shelves, wider shelves. I'll start here. This is a sign custom made by Just Add Sunshine. She is amazing and super talented. It's hand painted. She does such a good job. It's wood and has a little thing in the back, so I just put a nail. If you watched the first video, I nailed a tiny little nail in the middle there so that it could hang. This shelf has Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolors. I love using these watercolors, and I really appreciate the fact that this clear strip right here keeps them from falling off of the shelf, but you can't really see it because the colors really pop. And same with these Jane Davenport Incredible Inks. And of course we put them all in rainbow order. And because this swings open, these do shift around a little bit, but it's okay. It takes, you know, seconds to reposition them if you need to. Going down a little bit lower, we've got the Mega Time Stamp from Studio Calico and the Mega Date Stamp from Studio Calico. These are monsters and they're really really big if you've never worked with one of these they're great the only thing that i find hard about them is twisting these so i use a towel so that i recommend you guys do the same because it really hurts my fingers to move that around uh if you guys have any tips please let me know actually you know what some wd-40 probably would work and this stamp in the middle is from pebbles just got some alphabets here it's a typewriter font Moving down, we've got Fiskars, scissors mostly. Right here, I think these are all Fiskars. And then this is American Crafts, along with this and this. And they put out those tiny little staples. Always fun that you can hang these and these jiggle around when you open the door. Next shelf, can you tell my son Jack has been here? There is washi tape that has been peeled and I guarantee you it was him because I don't usually do that. But that's okay, that's the reason I put this lower is so that he could access them and get creative. I love the fact that he feels free to come in here and play and explore and discover new things. So this is a great way for him to do that. We ended up getting some extra bars because I have so much washi tape. As you can see, here's another shelf. Yep, he's definitely been here, look. He likes the thin little glitter ones too. But what's nice is that you can simply move it around. And if I were to do over, I don't know that it matters if they go over the top or from the bottom. You know how people are particular about toilet paper? I personally like mine over the top instead of under. But I wasn't too particular. I just wanted to get them on here. So Ananda, my assistant, 
was able to organize them and it wasn't a priority for them to all be the same. But if you are a perfectionist and you really want them to face the same way, you can see these pineapples are different, right? So this one's uh, bottom up and then this one's over the top. You guys feel me, right? Okay, going down, we have some acrylic color pour paint and some other acrylic paint in the back. And these are nice because it fits really nicely so that you can display these front ones in rainbow order. And then the back ones are sort of that way too, but you can't really see them. I love that it's deep enough to hold three bottles. Bottom shelf here is a bunch of different kinds of twine. Some of them are shiny. So there's some rope here. And then there's some glitter pouring paint mix-in kit down here as well. So we just looked at that entire side. Now let's move on to this side right here. Starting at the top, we have some bullet journals. This is just a display book from my Sunshine and Good Times collection. And we wrapped a book up and I just thought it was a cute little hello with a rainbow. We went over this already. These are the Nouveau Crystal dew drops. I guess they're just called crystal drops. Why won't it focus? Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Then next we have this clear container. It's actually from Simon Says Stamp and it holds these Tim Holtz distress markers in rainbow order. These Jack can access too and he's very careful with them. He's free to use them as well. Now we get into the drawers and we have Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I have a lot of the same colors. <laughs> then we get into the Color Box Inks as well as Vicki Booten's Color Wheel Inks. And I kept these rubber bands in here because when I take these with me, I like to rubber band it because the lid sometimes gets loose and then I don't want the inks to go everywhere. So I recommend if you're going to transport the inks, definitely take a rubber band and go ahead and put that on. These are some inks from Japan. So multicolored inks go in this drawer. The next one is pink. So these we tried to do in rainbow order and I've obviously got some watercolors in here too, mixed in. But for the most part, these are just inks. Then we go into orange, yellow, green. Actually it's red, orange, yellow, green. That one won't really stay. So these can stack too. That's what's nice about these ink pads is that they do stack and you can see that there's all kinds of different colors in there. But for the most part, you can see from the outside what's in the drawers and then you can just pull them out and grab the color that you need. These are the blues. And going into purple. Next is the black inks, along with some gray and gold and some stays on. There's also some embossing ink in the back. Versamark. At one point, they all faced forward. I think that Jack probably did some rearranging it too. These are some Kelly Perky inks. They were also in rainbow order, but I think they got a little bit mixed up, but that's okay. And here we have a Delusions ink spray pad that I've never opened. I bought it, who knows how long ago and where. Oh, I think I bought it from Whimsadoodle. And I haven't opened it yet, but I plan to. What's in here? Oh, Kelly Perky stamps. Hey, do you guys remember my first collection? It had adhesive fabric paper. Well, that's what this is. So I just stuck it onto this tin and they are Kelly Perky stamps. But we should probably label it. That's all right. Zing embossing powder, mostly in rainbow order. And then there's some glitter and gold stuff in the back. Oh, this is where my gold ink is. I see, okay. I was looking for that the other day. This time, I'm just gonna go over here because look, we have more roller stamps on this side and then let's go up this narrow shelf. So when I was first trying to figure out what to put in there, I was a little stumped, but then I ended up putting a lot of these little things and they fit perfectly. So keep in mind, these are for the most part in rainbow order. These are Mommy Lay inks. They fit perfectly in here with the little dividers. 
And these are pigment inks in rainbow order. The next one, oh look, there's some confetti from the confetti project. That's so funny. We've been finding it randomly and here's some right here. These are the Illustrated Faith inks that are also pigment inks. Gelatos go in this drawer and at first they stood up but now they're kind of falling down but that's okay. I think that this to me is still organized. The next drawer is some Adirondack color wash inks. Most of them are not even open because remember keep in mind the rainbow order going down and then we have some distress stains. Well, hello! What are you doing? Uh. I'm giving people a tour of all that's in my dream box. Jack loves the studio. Here are some distress stains. <coughs> you really do? Distress inks. Yeah. Distress spray stains. Distress paints, Tim Holtz. This is basically Tim Holtz all the way down to about here and then it switches. <laughs> but I love how you can take these out and use them. Mama. These are the distress this oxide. Side that side or what? Yes, I'm going from the this right to, to the left, exactly. I haven't done that yet. All right, I haven't. Hey, did you take out that plastic bag and not put it back? Oh yeah, you couldn't reach. Okay, I'll get that. So that is this whole section. And when you close this, you can see that there is also a magnet board for these dies. I'll link it below so that you guys know, but how cute are these dies? And that's a great place to put them. It saves a lot of space. This middle section right here is pretty well organized but I don't know if I'm maximizing the space basically because this is just a rifle print that I put up there because it's nice to display but really I could put stuff behind there this is a drawer full of stamps more Tim Holtz products distressed crayons rainbow mechanical pencils UV big, colored big, pencils big stamp. <laughs> well those are just wood stamps just some colorful hey, pens and stuff. That's a container for stamps. What does it have? All those stamps right there. Yep. Oh my god. All these stamps that, ha that stamp this. Yeah. You can stamp a whole neighborhood. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. This is the big stamps drawer. Larger stamps that don't fit into the other places over here, which I'll get to in a second. So big stamps. Another roller stamp, Provocraft. The idea for these drawers were to bring in incoming new stuff. So anything that was new coming into the studio would go into this drawer before I got a chance to use it. And then I started putting stuff in there and not taking it out. <laughs> and I've just made sure that I know where these Erin Condren stamps are and the acrylic block. But yeah, I haven't really updated this drawer. It was supposed to be the new collection, so I should have put my new collection in here, but I've put some new stuff, and yeah, I think this is new from last year, but I haven't really used it. In these drawers, the, these are the wipes. So these are for stamps or cleaning up in the studio. Moving over, we have embroidery floss in rainbow order. This is a fun drawer. Confetti from when the confetti project was here. I saved it. Oh, there goes one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Messy maker sign from Just Dad Sunshine. And palettes. Palettes. Oh, I already have artist tape. I just bought a bunch. Whoopsies. Some more markers here. As well as these are some Tombow crayons, which are so fun. Jack has a set too. And these plastic inserts are available with the original scrap box and they're awesome because I originally had these still in the plastic that they came in that they came packaged in but 
we took them out and put them in here. Traveler's notebooks. People often ask me what I do with my traveler's notebooks when I am done with them or when I haven't finished them. I had them up on a shelf, but this is a nice smaller shelf. And I could really put some more things back here behind it. But I've got my books. This is my signature series book. Let me know if you want me to do a flip through of this. This is kind of funny. It was from about seven years ago, probably. And it's got a bunch of projects in it. There's Craft a Life You Love. And then these drawers have some watercolors. Different sets of water, travel watercolors, basically. Some pattern papers from the Planner Society. Cards, if I want to grab a card and make one. I think Jack's been through this drawer because it looks fairly empty. He writes a lot of cards these days. My stamps, the uppercase, lowercase, and then also there's some other stamps in the back. These are alphabet stamps. This is a bunch of... Oh yeah, look at your stamp. How cute is that, right? Can you show me? Do, have you been stamping just now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what he's been doing back there. And then this is just a little hummingbird wood piece. Okay, so that's this middle section. Now this is where I don't have it totally organized. I have the Silhouette Cameo there. I have an Impress Art stamping kit right there. And then underneath the table, let's see if Jack can help me maybe. Oh, hold on. Okay. Can you pull this up? Thank you. So it's not fully organized, but this is what's under there. A bunch of photos, some 12 by 12 papers, foil quill stuff, and two Tim Holtz die cutters, I think. And then some more dies back there. They're all to new. Okay, buddy, you can let go. Thank you. Uh, it's okay, you can let go. I got it. Thank you. One of Jack's favorite drawers is the paper down there. <laughs> so let's start on this left side. We have a rainbow cup of gel pens. These are mostly jelly rolls. Some Tim Holtz Distress inks in a little container. A Tombow mug with a Fiskars blade. This is an awesome cutter. And a jar of joy from an Oh Joy event. It's just more confetti. Surprise, surprise, more washi tapes in rainbow order. Some Avery Ultra Tabs in these jars. I decided to do another roll, or two rolls of washi tapes. What are these called? These rods. Two rods of washi tapes so that we had more space instead of doing these jars because I wasn't really feeling them that much for what supplies I had. Those aren't your pants. <laughs> These hooks obviously don't have anything hanging on them, but that's okay. We have some Jane Davenport uh, mermaid markers, and then some Alta new ones back here. These Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers that I bought when I was in Florida, and I, I have to be honest, I haven't really used them. Now I feel a little guilty, but that's okay. Some Sharpies, some brushes, and then the Fiskars blades, more of them. Well, let me just show you this. The reason we did these colored stars, these are Uli crayons that we stuck on the side. We did it so that you could have different kinds of markers and pens that coordinated with the color of the star. So I think that worked out really nicely because in case you want something purple, you can just go right in here and say, oh, these are the purple markers. We obviously have more markers to put in there, but so far, this has been working just fine. At the top, we have some Martha Stewart glitter in this container, which I just kept it in the container because it makes sense in case I need to go anywhere, but it's a really great smaller shelf, more narrow shelf that fits that nicely. And then you've already seen this in the previous video, but the stamp organization was a big deal. We used Avery Ultra tabs and then organized the stamps by categories. These are all the clear stamps. Still organized, acrylic blocks, wood stamps, Jack's cute face, 
This is a custom stamp, I'll link it below. She does such an amazing job, she hand carves them too. She also made some Lego stamps, which are here. She does such good work. It's really, really impressive. Stickers that I'm currently using, and it's overflowing a little bit, but What's nice is that they're accessible and I can see them, I can grab at them. These are card stocks and also some transparencies. But these are all in rainbow order and then a bunch of white, gray, neutrals, black. I have a scrap drawer as well as totes down here. So these are just little different kinds of totes that we have. Got my all the things one with the pins on it. Lots of fun stuff in here. So that about does it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed and check out the details below to win the $1,500 gift card from the original scrap box. Thank you so much as always for watching and I hope you feel inspired to shine bright and keep those creative juices flowing. Can you say bye?